Hi, this is James C2. Welcome to part two of the Users and Security Roles tutorial. If you're looking for part one, please simply click on the card link now. Okay, in part one of this tutorial, we looked at how to set up security roles for users within our CRM setup. We looked at setting one up for Adam, who's our salesperson, Ewan, who's our customer service representative, and our marketing professional, Daisy. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at the user experience for each of those users within the CRM. So let's start with Adam. In Adam's role as a salesperson, we would like him to be able to create quick campaigns and also view a list of cases that are within our CRM. But what we do not want Adam to do is to be able to create new cases. So let's see how the security roles applied to his profile allow that to happen. So I'll go to the marketing area. I'll look at my marketing lists. And you will see once I highlight one in the toolbar, there is an option there for create quick campaign. Now today's tutorial doesn't discuss quick campaigns. If you'd like more information on that, simply go to our YouTube channel and view one of our marketing videos. So we can see Adam can create his quick campaign. So let's go and have a look at the cases. And we can see in the active cases view, Adam can see all of the cases that are in the system. But what he does not have is in the toolbar, an option to create a new case. So we can see that the security roles applied to Adam do meet the requirements. So he can create a quick campaign, he can view a list of cases, but he cannot create a new one. So let's move on and look at Ewan. Ewan is a customer service representative and we do not want him to be able to create a new quick campaign, but we do want him to be able to view existing cases and create new ones. Having logged in as Ewan, I will highlight a marketing list and we can see there is no option now for create quick campaign because the security role does not allow Ewan to do so. Let's look at the service area to demonstrate how this is affected by security role. If we look at active cases, we can see Ewan can view them all, but he also, unlike Adam, has new case button in his toolbar. Let's look at our third user, Daisy. Daisy is a marketing professional. And as a marketing professional, we want Daisy to be able to create a quick campaign. What we do not want Daisy to be able to do is view a list of cases. So let's demonstrate that. And there we see Daisy does have the option for create quick campaign. What we do not want Daisy to be able to do in her job role, cases are nothing to do with her and we want to silo the data so that she does not have access to it. So if we go to the service area, you will see there is no option in the ribbon bar for cases. As far as Daisy is concerned, there is no such thing as a case within the CRM. Lastly, let's log in as me. I am the system administrator. I should be able to do all things within the system. So I'll log in as me to demonstrate that I can create quick campaigns, I can view cases, and I can create new ones. So first of all, navigate to marketing, look at the marketing lists, and here we are. As a system administrator, I can create a quick campaign. If I move to the service area and highlight cases, which remember Daisy couldn't see, I can see all of the cases that are in the system. I'll change the view to active cases to show that. And I also have the new case icon, which you and had, but Daisy and Adam did not. So hopefully that's a good demonstration of how you can silo data and access to data within your CRM through the use of security roles. Hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please like our video. Even better, subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like any help with any aspect of CRM, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.